What's up, Pizza Holics? Behind me is Louie and Ernie's. It's been around. People love this place. Let's go try it. How about that place, guys? How about that place? Now, that is the definition of a pizza parlor. That is a pizza parlor. It's uh, a parlor is basically a private setting that's retrofitted for commercial purposes. That's what that was. It's basically a pizzeria in the first floor of a private house. Anyways, guys, Louie and Ernie's, the Boogie Down Bronx. A lot of people, you know, they sleep on the Bronx when it comes to pizza. They sleep on it. They're like, yeah, the best pizza's in Brooklyn, the best pizza's in Manhattan, the best pizza's in Staten Island. People forget about the Bronx. Queens, too. But there's some pretty damn good places in the Bronx. Pretty damn good places. And whenever you mention the best pizza in the Bronx, Louie and Oinies is always, always brought up. Louie and Oinies, you got to say it the Bronx way. There are two variants of the New York accent. There's the Brooklyn accent. There's the Bronx accent. In the Bronx, they not only uh, they not only did not pronounce their R's, they would actually make them sound like Y's. So, uh, you know, instead of saying New Jersey, they would say, we're going to go to New Jersey. And so, therefore, Louis and Oinies it is. Louis and Oinies, one of the most uh, uh, talked about pizzerias in the Bronx. And it's such a cute place. Um, now, before I try the pizza... Make it cool down a little bit, air it out. I want to talk about the history of the place just for two seconds. It's pretty interesting. The people who run the place now, the people who own it, were the original staff of uh, of Mr. Artuso, of Ernie, who used to own the place. Ernie sold the place when he was in his 80s because he was getting old. He had some health problems. Uh, the people that worked for him who own the place now, John and Cosimo, two brothers, they were only 20 and 16 years old when they were working there. So it's pretty interesting. They still own it. They've been there for over 40 years. The place itself is, I believe, over 60 years old. So pretty interesting, pretty interesting story. So here we go. Here we go, Louis and Ernie's. Now, I had to get their sausage. When you come to Louis and Ernie's, you got to get their sausage. I cannot wait to try that. It's special. This is the type of place when you walk in, everybody gets the sausage pie. As a matter of fact, everybody that was sitting outside was eating sausage pies. So, uh, but you know, we got to review the plane. You judge a place based on their regular cheese pie. So that's what we're going to go and do right now, guys. Louis and Ernie's nice and thin, very light. Oh, very light, very light, extremely light. Good crackling sounds on the fold. That's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear. Very, very interesting uh, texture to this pizza. A little flop, a little flop going on. Let's see how it tastes, guys. Oh, yeah. Lots of flavor. Look at that sausage, guys. Where do you get sausage toppings like this? Where? Tell me, please, tell me. Where do you get sausage on a pizza like this how rustic is that how right in your face is that like check that out guys look at this beautiful delicious morsel of porky goodness juicy tender fennel spiked you can just smell the fennel inside of it italian fennel sausage they get this sausage from a pork store just two blocks away a legit italian butcher shop quality sausage guys quality nice and peppered Oh, man. What I like about it is that there's no casing on this sausage. There's no casing. And so the juices really spill out into the pizza when it bakes. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's move on in and inspect this Bronx classic New York style pizza. Now, unlike the generic New York style, which usually thickens up towards the back. This barely has a cornicione. It's that thin. But it's there. It's fairly thicker in the back. It gets extremely thin towards the middle of the pie. Uh, very airy, guys. Very airy. Very light. Very light. Look at that. Oh, man. And that's the mark of a good pizza. 
The foundation of every pizza, ladies and gentlemen, is its foundation, no pun intended. And uh, it's safe to say that Louis and Ainis makes a pretty damn good crust. Nice, nice char on the back end. Beautiful brown spots. Not exactly leopard skin char. Not exactly leoparding, but uh, it's a well done slice. You can, you can basically uh, consider this a fairly well done slice. Fairly well done pizza. When you start to see char marks, caramelized spots on that cheese, it's safe to say that, yeah, this is on the well done side. Um, speaking of the cheese, uh, slightly greasy. There's a really thick sheen, a thick film of grease on it, uh, which is expected from low moisture cheese. But um, I don't think I've gotten a single drop on my hand when I ate those two slices. Nothing. They give you oregano packets. Oregano packets, but you know what? I barely used it because you don't need it. Look at that. It's already baked with plenty of spices. There's oregano from tip to back, considerable amount, and you really taste it. When I said before that this pie had immense flavor, not only because of the oregano, but there is multiple cheeses in that mix, guys. Not only is there mozzarella on it, but they do put a considerable amount of sprinkled grated cheese, pecorino perhaps, parmigiano. But this is a very salty slice. It's a very salty slice because of all that grated cheese that they throw in there. And that's why it gets that orange color. It's because they're putting that grated cheese into the mix and uh, it, it soaks up the grease and turns orange. And it's a good thing, guys. If you like that stuff like I do, it's a good thing. Nice amount of room, not a, not too much real estate. Sauce and cheese spread pretty much all the way to the back. And uh, speaking of the sauce, there's a lot of it for the thinness. But for the thickness of this crust, there's a perfect amount of sauce. Uh, perhaps a little pasty. I don't see pulp. It's not exactly the pulpiest sauce. It's not the pulpiest sauce, but it's juicy. There's a decent amount of it on there. The cheese never felt like it dominated. You get a good amount of sauce and cheese with each bite. Good ratio, cheese to sauce ratio. Oh, baby, we got ourselves a winner here, folks. We got ourselves a winner. All right, guys, the pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. Here we go. How's it going to hold up? How's it going to hold up? Some good crackling going on. Still not holding its shape. It's a pretty big slice, very thin. Little flop, little flop going on, uh, but does it maintain its crisp? I don't care about the flop. When I do this, when I do the cold test, I want to know if it maintains its crisp because some pizzas, especially like those coal-fired sourdough pizzas, they lose their crisp when they cool down. It's a little bit of cornmeal. There is some cornmeal on the bottom of this thing. Not much. But they do put a little cornmeal. It's a thin pizza. They put the cornmeal there as a sort of safeguard to prevent any potential uh, burning. So, uh, But it's nice. Not exactly the most charred pizza. You know me, I like a little more char. But it's not pale. Definitely, I wouldn't consider this a pale pizza. And so when a pizza isn't pale, what do we do? We move it up the scale. Guys, it's about time we score this thing. Louis and Ernie's. Standard cheese, the Bronx Classic, gets an 8.1. Absolutely a pizza you travel for. Drive over that bridge, pay a toll, try something that is absolutely not the most unique pizza. It, it is very quintessential New York. But, hey, every pizza has its own spin on it, whether it's the cornmeal, whether it's the extra grated cheese, whether it's the thickness of the crust. This is like, uh, it's, not, it's not as thick as Joe's, not as thin as Luigi's. A lot of love goes into this product. A lot of love goes into this product. Pizza with love, folks. Pizza with love. I just wanted to mention a few things because a lot of people are like, why isn't it an 8.5? Why did you score it an 8.5? Why didn't you give it the 8.8 .8 or the 9? Or, Well, unlike Luigi's, which is one of my favorite quintessential pizzas, and Joe's, uh, this had some flop, obviously. Uh, you don't get that crispy first bite. Got a dock points for that. Number two, I like a little more char on the on the bottom, like a Joe's. 
And uh, so, I, you know, I couldn't really give it the eight and a half. Had to go eight one. Still a pretty damn good score, guys. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I got another stop to make. I'm unsure where I'm going. I'm in the Bronx. I don't come here often. I may do some, something in Queens. I may do something in the Bronx. We'll see how it goes, guys. But until next time, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. Until next time, keep those bellies full, ladies and gents. This is Antonio signing off.